everybody. Today we are talking about Searching for Sylvie Lee by Jean Kwok. Searching for Sylvie Lee is a mystery about trying to find where Sylvie Lee is. The story starts off in Amy's perspective. Amy is Sylvie's sister. And then eventually it switches to Ma, the mom's perspective. And then we have Sylvie's perspective. It goes between these three perspectives throughout the entire book. And we receive nowadays stuff from Amy and Ma. We receive past stuff from Sylvie. So like two-ish two months before her disappearance is what we are reading about whenever it's Sylvie's passages. And then it jumps to Amy's passages so we can see what's going on in present day. Sylvie is supposed to be in the Netherlands because her grandmother is sick. And she went there to be with her grandmother her mother was very sad that she wasn't able to make the trip to be with her mother while she was sick. She felt pretty sad that she wasn't able to go, but Sylvie was kind of raised by her grandma at the first of her life. Um, so backtracking a little bit, Sylvie's mom felt like she was unfit to be Sylvie's mother at the time of her birth and left her with some family members in the Netherlands. Her mom, as well as one other family in which we have Lucas and then Sylvie's cousins. The mom and the dad of, of Lucas are Sylvie's cousins. So I'm pretty sure that makes Lucas her second cousin. I get, my brain gets confused on this kind of stuff. So if I'm wrong, tell me, but I'm pretty sure Lucas is Sylvie's second cousin. Okay, so remember that. <laughs> then we find out that from Lucas, Lucas calls Amy and says, I'm really worried about Sylvie. I'm just wanting to make sure things are okay. And Amy says, what are you talking about? She's with you, she's in the Netherlands. And Lucas is like, what are you talking about? She's not with me, she left a couple days ago. She should have made it home by now. And that is where initial panic starts because Lucas doesn't know where she is. She's, he's the last one to have been with her in the Netherlands. And so she was assumedly back in the United States with Amy and Amy's like no she's not and so there's confusion there on trying to figure out where she is that's where we first realize that she's essentially missing so the story continues Amy decides that the, after a few more days has passed this isn't okay she goes to talk to Jim who is Sylvie's husband Jim is acts a little weird with Amy and we come to find out that Jim and Sylvie's relationship has been on the rocks. It's not good right now. And Amy's like, how was I blind to all this? I thought they were like the best ever. Like she always saw Sylvie as the better sister, essentially like, oh, she's, she's perfect. She does all these things. She's married. She has a great job and all the stuff's happening that she wasn't even aware of. And so Jim's no help. She go, cause she went to their house and found out that it looked like chaos had happened in there. There was a bunch of stuff all over the place. So she realized that Sylvie wasn't even there at her own house. And so then that's when she realizes she needs to go to the Netherlands to try to figure out more information to track down what happened to her sister. This is where most of the story happens is in the Netherlands, whether it is Amy's perspective of her trying to get answers out of the family and talking with the cops, trying to figure things out and when we have Sylvie's perspective of what happened the, the weeks before Amy got there, um, the people that she met, that she s became friends with, Felipe, I believe is his name, is another character that we learn about that was teaching Sylvie how to play the cello. Side note, I finished this book a couple months ago and I've just been too busy to do the review, which is why I couldn't remember the names perfectly in here so when I say Felipe it's actually just Philip so that that was my bad I just was not remembering things completely from when I read it two months ago so anyways continuing on Amy's learning all these new things about Sylvie and yet still not having the main piece of the puzzle of where where the heck she is um, the thing that interests me a lot about this story aside from the mystery of figuring out what the heck happened is that Lucas and Sylvie are related. Yes, they are second cousins. There are moments of flirtation between these two. And so this is why I find it interesting because um, as far as I know, you shouldn't date people you're related to. Um, but then I did a Google search about it because I was curious and I was like, is 
are dating second cousins and marrying second cousins like a thing and apparently it's actually legal in a lot of states and a lot of places where you can actually marry your second cousin because it's a far enough away distance of relation even though it seems like cousin's child like but it seems like that's not really that far away of of a distance between family members that's why a part of me feels like I read this wrong but the more I tried to understand it the more I was like I'm pretty sure this is right this is this is what it's saying and so there is a lot about the relationships of these people that is really important for you to read this book to understand what's happening <laughs> okay so there is this so she's thinking she's just crushing on Felipe but she's also crushing on Lucas and Lucas likes her and Felipe, Felipe seemingly likes her as well and so she feels like she's trapped in kind of this triangle thing but it is not your normal triangle thing that you, you that you read in a lot of books it's we're not getting that same kind of love triangle first of all because they're related two of the people are related and um, other things which I'm not gonna tell you because I want you to read the book to find out the other complications of this love triangle so so to speak but if I were you if anything that I said so far sounds interesting um, a mystery if you like mysteries if you want to, to get into that world when I first started reading it it kind of reminded me of Gone Girl mainly because one of the characters names is Amy in here and so and it's a mystery about someone miss being missing so it immediately kind of took me in that place but I'll tell you now the twists and the uh, conclusion of this book and everything is not like Gone Girl. So even though there are some similarities, it doesn't, by the end of it, it doesn't feel like it is taking very much from that book. It's not, the, the things where it goes is not the same. So, um, but if you do like Gone Girl, I liked Gone Girl when I read it, um, and I like this book as well, so even though they're similar but not too similar. You, you might like both of the books. You might like this book too if you like Gone Girl. Um, but I think you should read it so that you can find out the things that I've been talking about with Lucas and Sylvie and their relationship. And I, I don't want to give away, I don't want this to be a spoiler review, but I also am like really curious of the people who have read this what you think about how it ended because it just I was like what is happening right now because everything that I thought I was understanding I was not really it was really not the the truth the the actual I just I can't I can't fully explain myself without this turning into a spoiler thing and again that's just more the reason that you should read it and then maybe in the comments you can put a coded message or a like something that also doesn't give it away but communicates to me maybe you could say I I didn't believe that either or I was right the whole time or like say something that maybe gives me a hint that you might have been thinking what I was thinking without giving it away so that people can actually read this book and be surprised by the ending like the way that I was surprised um, yeah I was reading it in my backyard and when I got to the like main climatic part at the end I was just like what like I said it out loud and my neighbors probably in their backyard heard me freaking out and didn't know what I was talking about but yeah so it actually did give me like a verbal response like right away when I read it like what like what in the world is happening like an audible response I think that's what I probably meant to say there things get resolved and twists happen so if you like that kind of stuff, totally go for it. I, This is one of the books that I'm reading for the whole Asian literature um, 2021 goal that I have. And it's one that was well worth being on that list of books that I read. So now I'm just babbling. So I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And yeah, catch you in the next one.